Hello, Commanders. This is Research and Destroy. There'll be no boring overviews or speculation. Here you'll find only the funniest and most interesting experiments with tanks and game mechanics. In this pilot episode of our show, we'll check tank durability underwater, test concealment, and for dessert, we'll try to capture the enemy base in an unusual way. Let's go. Here's a question from a player. What if you sink two tanks and put one over the other? Will they run out of hit points? This is an interesting experiment. Let's see how it goes. Our experts headed to the Nebelberg map, where they submerged two Soviet-like tanks, put one tank over the other, and both hit point bars started depleting very fast. In the end, one of the T-100 LTs even exploded. With this test, we proved that even drowned tanks can knock off hit points from each other, but they don't count in the battle results. Let's proceed to our second experiment. We are going to find the stealthiest vehicle in the game. Considering the TKS-20 light tank recently appeared, and it's even smaller than the UE-57 French tank destroyer. Yeah, we could just look at the concealment coefficients, but who needs those numbers when you can check everything in practice? For our first test, we took the above-mentioned TKS-20, and it was spotted at 125 meters. The UE-57 was spotted at 120 meters. And the most concealed vehicle is the Swedish IKV-72 tank destroyer that was spotted from 117 meters. The difference in the results is small, but now we all know that the stealthiest vehicle in the game is the IKV-72. A player suggested conducting an experiment with the T-95 crawling through the base. A very long time ago, we already tried to find out if the T-95 with a damaged stock engine and injured crew trained to 50% could capture the base just by rolling through it. We almost did it last time. But firstly, it was a long time ago, and secondly, now there's the artillery stun in the game that will cut down the abilities of the already feeble crew even more. So we decided to do a test with artillery stun. Our special department for critical damage headed to the Glacier map. The department employees broke down the TD's engine, injured its driver, and towed the poor vehicle to the base. The test subject crawled around the capture circle again and again, but the high explosive splash knocked off both the TD's tracks and base capture, so we had to start anew. However, our attempts were successful in the end. The T-95 almost left the circle, but managed to capture the base. So now you can assuredly say that the T-95 is so slow that it can capture the base while just rolling through it. This was Research and Destroy. If you have any ideas for future installments, please share them in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Good luck on the battlefield!